Hey guys, my name is Smew. Shout out to all my Smewies out there. I'm here to show you how to set up VRChat's audio link in your VRChat world projects. So, on the left here, I have my booth page, and this is the audio link shaders, Smew Bros shaders that I have available. There's a new update that I made in June, which is compatibility with VRChat Creator Companion. Now, this tutorial will be broken into two parts. The first part, I'll go over starting a brand new project in the VRChat Creator Companion and how to add audio link to that. In the second part, I'll go over if you have existing audio link shaders from a, a legacy project and how you'd and how you'd be able to update those in the VRChat Creator Companion. So let's get to it. So again, this is my booth page and you can find the audio link shaders if you scroll down in the Ford cell over here. I just wanted to mention that on the right here, I also have the GitHub page open for the official VRChat audio link repository. If you don't have a GitHub account, you might want to make one if you're in getting into world building. If you scroll down, you'll see some information on updating from older versions of audio link to new ones. This is where I'm getting um, my information from. I actually had to migrate to the new project. I, it was quite a bit of work, but I'm able to now make this easier for you and show you a video of how to do it. So just cutting to the chase, once you have audio link in your project, in your VRChat Creator Companion project here, in Unity, you'll see the audio link tab up here. And if you want to add the audio link prefab, like how it was in the classic version of VRChat, or if this is just your first time making a VRChat world, um, this is what the audio link prefab looks like. And when you have it in your world, you drag and drop the audio source and you, you can add that. I, at first I was like looking for, I was looking for it in the assets folder, couldn't find it, but it's much easier just to go over here and select add audio link prefab to scene. And that will give you the audio link prefab. So how did I get there? So here in the VR chat creator companion, by default, audio link isn't installed. You want to make sure that your project is set up with you want to make sure your project is set up with Udon Sharp. So if I create a new project, I want to select Worlds Udon Sharp. Then I will call this new project new project two. Make sure it's projects with Udon Sharp and then it will create that project for you. Once that, project's once that project's created, you'll see that audio link is not installed. So you want to do 0 0.3.2 as of this video, whatever the latest version is, install that. Now it takes a while for the project to load up. So for the sake of this video, I'm just going to show you what it looks like when the new project is open. You're going to get hit with a message before the project opens that says you'd like to um, upgrade, you know, the audio link shaders, uh, the old audio link shaders to the new ones. Just click no thanks because you have no shaders to upgrade. This is a brand new project and that's where we're going. That's what we're doing here. So audio link, I want to add this prefab to the scene. I select this and that's how it that's how I can add audio link to my scene then you have an audio source I'm just gonna throw in some random audio source let's say you had a sound file in here this is called a MIDI demo loop whoa okay sorry about that hope that wasn't too loud okay that's just some random it's just some random MIDI sounds, okay? So that's over here, and fair warning. <laughs> so 
So that's there. Click on audio link and whatever source you have, you want to click and drag that over here. So my mouse is broken. So sometimes you can't click and drag. You just click this little ball over here and it'll search for in your scene or your assets folder, but you want to do it in the scene. So by default in the scene, you'll select the audio source. That's, that's there. You could even rename it. It was like MIDI sounds. And then in audio link, you'll see MIDI sound is there. Here's your, here's all, here's all the settings that you can apply to, to audio link, but this, this tutorial is just focused on setting it up. Okay. So I want to open up one of the shaders that I have here and I want to show you the, so this is part two of the video. I just want to show you the difference between the old audio link shaders and the new ones. Not that big of a difference. I will say, okay, so here's audio streams. It's one of my newest, well, it's the newest updated version of audio streams that I have available. The only difference between the old audio link shader and the new audio link smooth brush shader, and this could apply to all audio link shaders too, is that this, this path or the location of where this CG include is located is slightly different. So it's no longer in the assets folder, it's in the packages folder. And that's the, that's the big change. All right, so here's my legacy project I'll open up here. This is the older way of adding audio link to your project. You would just drag the audio link prefab into the assets folder, as you see here. I want to pull up an old project on the right, new project on the left, and just show you side by side old versus new. Okay. Look on the right here. Audio link is here. The audio link prefab is here. You would just click and drag it. Uh oh, I don't know. I didn't mean to open that, but I guess it was just loading. But um, so this is where you'd click and drag and drop the audio link asset onto your project, and then it would look like this. But in the new version, it's the audio link package is not in the assets folder. It is actually underneath it in the packages folder. Uh, it goes by alphabetical order. So it goes audio link, and then you can find your prefab in here. But for me, it was a little confusing. I couldn't find the prefab in here. So I, I got stuck, had to read the documentation, but really it's as simple as just like I showed you in the beginning of the video. Um, if you saw that part in the beginning of the video, I just, the audio link prefab is located here. And then you click audio link, add audio link prefab to, uh, audio link prefab to scene. Once you click that, it pops up here. To close out, out this tutorial, to end this tutorial, I just want to recap what we did. So in this new project, you can add the audio link prefab to your scene. It'll show up here. So assuming that this is a brand new project for you, you just add the audio link prefab to the scene and drag your audio source here. And that, that should get you started. But if you had your own uh, older version audio link shaders, you'd click audio link, update audio link compatible shaders. And you'll see this message. It'll say, do you want to check all the shaders in this project for compatibility? And yes, if you are updating it, those shaders to the new version, you want to go ahead and select, I made a backup, go ahead, assuming you made a backup. Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate you guys. And I had to make this video. It's been a while since I've made a new YouTube video, or even I've been anticipating making this tutorial specifically for a long time. You could check out my assets on Booth. And this is my, my smew.booth.pm. That's the website where you could find VRChat game items like the, the, 
QV pen mod that I have, the avatar brush, the collection, which is a reduced price version of all collection of all the assets that I have available, audio link gradient shader, which are free downloads. Um, there's some free downloads here that you can click in. Like if you're not, if you're not certain of what you're getting, like, you know, there's a support me option, but you can also have do a free download and play around with the code that way. This is all updated to the new version of VR chat creator companion. And I hope you guys got something out of this video and learned something new. Thanks guys. I just wanted to close out this video with my Patreon page. So in my new Patreon, there's two options where in one, you get advertising space in SMU brush. And the first one, the first tier will get you your name in the world plus lifetime access to all the new brushes in my world. So appreciate you guys. And I'm going to be coming out with some more benefits soon. Thank you so much. Again, my booth and my Patreon are both in the link in the description, but I also have a Ko-Fi page. So if your thing is Ko-Fi, then that's also available too. There's a cool gallery here where I'll be posting Ko-Fi exclusive Smew brush art. So thank you so much. Have a nice rest of your day or evening, wherever you are, and hope to make another video soon. Bye-bye.